I'm Roger Remington, the Vignelli Distinguished Professor of Design and the Director of the Vignelli Center for Design Studies at RIT, and this is my RIT story. I've been part of the RIT design community since the 1950s. I came here as a design student at that time, and the school was in transition. We were at the very end of the Beaux-Arts era, but modernism was just starting to rise in the U.S. and RIT was beginning to teach that kind of design. In 1963, I returned to RIT as a new faculty member in design under Stan Whitmire, who led the program. Hans Barschel was a key faculty member and my mentor and teacher. Hans had a major impact on RIT's design program, moving it into the modernist era. I served as chair of the RIT design department in the 1970s when we finished revising the curriculum to a modernist philosophy. I took the opportunity to bring in some really top level faculty members, which was an important part of elevating the reputation of the school. One real coup was when we brought in Joe Watson, who had worked for Paul Rand and was at that time a designer for Xerox. He was truly the first-rate designer with real-world corporate experience, and that was a big focus for me as chair. The faculty are the key to everything. A big part of making our IT design program unique was broadening it to include the history of design. Our approach was to include history, theory, and criticism, as well as studio practice. We wanted students to understand what they were doing understanding where good design comes from, not just developing and making a skill set. The other thing we did that made a big difference was to establish archives of graphic design so we had something to show to students, something they could study in real life to learn how things were created. Many of these collections came to us as gifts from the designers, their families, and their supporters. The Cary Graphic Design Collection was born from these invaluable archives and the designers really appreciated that we were using their work to educate young designers. So we developed a modern teaching model with an archive at the core, and that's what drew the Vignellis to RIT. Massimo and Lella Vignelli were world-class designers and masters of the modernist period. Their work spanned graphic design, product design, tableware, clothing, showrooms, jewelry, and even architecture. Both Vignellis were trained architects, and they had a tremendous impact on their design aesthetic. They believed in the way we were teaching design and began lecturing here as well as keynoting important conferences. And they got older, they began to think about what they would do with their considerable archive of internationally created work. Both Lella and Massimo wanted a living archive that would be used by faculty and students. So RIT was their prime choice. Everyone was excited to have the Vignelli archives here. The collection was so large that we had a challenging space problem. We had to build a new building to properly house the thousands of items. It took quite a few supporters and about seven years to bring the Vignelli Center to life. Former Dean Joan Stone, Stan McKenzie, RIT's provost at the time, and President Simone and Dessler all supported the effort to bring the archives here and create the facility that is now the Vignelli Center for Design Studies. We were able to involve many friends of the Vignellis and also leaders in the design field. I think we've really created something unique and certainly something special for RIT and Rochester. This is a center recognized by the design field around the world for what we have and how we are using it to teach design and support design programming initiatives. It was wonderful to have this completed in 2010 and have the Vignellis here for the dedication. In fact, it was a celebration of not only the center being completed, but of our culmination with RIT as a modernist design school. Seeing Stan Whitmire at age 92 with the Vignellis at the dedication was just an extraordinary image that made a real statement of what RIT reaching that pinnacle for the design program and acknowledging Stan's great contributions. Design has an impact on everything. 
His potential to solve problems and change other disciplines is significant. With RIT's new focus on bringing together the arts, design, science, and technology, there's tremendous opportunity for everyone to benefit. We haven't seen that for some time, and I expect that the design programs will play an increasing role at RIT. We're already seeing industrial design and new media design engaging with other disciplines all over campus to create some innovative solutions. There's great opportunity for those kinds of partnerships to flourish now. When I think of what donors and supporters have done for the design program, I can see how they've been an important part of our evolution. Today there are more than 45 different archives in the Cary Graphic Design Collection, and all were donated. The Cary Collection itself is a point of support for many of our donors. My own position as a Vignelli professor was supported by Lady Helen Hamlin, a close friend of the Vignellis, who wanted to see their legacy continue. And countless people over the decades who said that they have faith in our vision and direction by supporting the design program. They're an important part of my career at RIT and the careers of countless designers who have had the chance to study here. That's something we can all be proud of.